The residents truly are the heart of the hospital. You're the front lines for everything. Our number one priority is making sure that our patients get the best care that they possibly can. And so everything that we do as a residency program is to, is to guarantee that. I think one of the other beauties of our program is that you can really make it what you want. I feel like I didn't really have the choice to escape medicine. My dad is a pediatrician and then my dad had to go into the hospital to round and we would sit in the nurses station on the counters and they would just feed us graham crackers and ginger ale. And I was like, this is a life. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> of course I'm going to go do this. <laughs> I interviewed at 10 to 12 places and this was uh, my second interview and I loved it so much that every interview after that I would think to myself, hmm, did I like this better than Moore's or not? I went to med school in Chicago um, and it wasn't until I heard about the program from my advisor at my med school that I even knew it existed. Nemours really is this hidden gem that I don't think many people are aware of. So I tried to keep an open mind but no matter how hard I tried every other program came up short. I noticed it as a medical student that the residents were really friends. Everyone was coming out of their way to say hello, introduce themselves. <laughs> I decided to come to Nemours for residency because I first started as a medical student and when I came I just completely fell in love with everything about Nemours. I knew when I matched here that I that I that I loved the people and that I was very excited to be here, but I didn't realize that this program and the people within the program, you know how much they really become like a second family to you. <laughs> When you exit medical school and, and start your residency, you're preparing for your future career as a pediatrician, whether that be as a general pediatrician, as a hospitalist, or as a subspecialist. And we really have that chance to give you that broad general pediatric base. Uh, residents are, are um, the heart of the hospital, and specifically I, I like to use the term the lifeblood of the hospital. We rely on them to be our eyes and ears and our voices at all times, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. They are at the bedside caring for patients. They are consoling families. They are, are really, truly what make this place work. Residency uh, can be challenging at times, it can be difficult at times, but it's supposed to be stimulating and fun. And we're going to help the residents get past whatever is going on in their lives to be successful in their pediatric career. Uh, the residents do travel up to Jefferson. They have an opportunity to spend time at Thomas Jefferson University Hospital in Philadelphia, a very large academic hospital, which is the home of Sidney Kimmel Medical College. And the residents also spend a little bit of time at Christiana Care which has one of the busiest birthing centers on the East Coast. We get to see different patients because we go to three different hospitals. You have a large academic children's hospital with fellows and every subspecialist and research opportunities. The encashment area for this hospital is really wide and you see people coming in from the suburbs of PA, from Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey. We also have a really big Amish and Mennonite population. So a lot of those inborn errors of metabolism that you never thought you'd see again after medical school, not only do we see them, we manage them. In my over two years of being here, I have seen things that I never thought I would see in real life that we we see here all the time. Not only was I struck as a medical student by just the complexity of diagnoses and things that I was seeing, but also the collegiality and the team environment that I felt a part of immediately. The attendings here are here because they're passionate about their patients, but also about resident education. They really just want to make great pediatricians. It's such an honor. Um, to have the opportunity to train other people. I'm one person, but through teaching other people to become physicians, I'm really taking care of many people in the world. They give you the autonomy and trust that you know your patients, and they're also there to support you every step of the way. Your attendings are, are asking to mentor you, you know, they want you to come to them for questions and they want to give you advice, they want to offer you research positions and to work on projects. Every year we have a dozen or more residents going off to national meetings 
with their research projects. And they're supported by the faculty, they're supported by the hospital, and strongly encouraged to get involved in academic work. Others get involved in advocacy projects. We value that also, and we want residents to be out in the community, serving the community uh, locally and, and distantly. I think that residents and the faculty and really everyone that works here get to know each other. Of course, we get to know each other in a professional sense, but we really get to know each other and support each other. It's a place that allows you to, to come to work and feel like you're not necessarily working, but having a really good time doing what you're doing. I think we've, we've uh, tried very hard over the years to be a program that nurtures residents. Whenever we have any issues there, they're always there. They, they make miracles happen. The environment here is academic. It is challenging. They work very hard, but along the way, you always have the support of faculty, of nursing. I think we're really special in that we teach people how to be kind and support one another. Something else I tell people all the time is just how supportive the program is, of feedback that we give, and I've seen them make these changes in a few weeks. Not only do they care about the you know, the longevity and the success of the program, but they really truly care about every single resident. We take safety very seriously. In the height of the pandemic, uh, when some of the residents were working off cycle at home, we made sure to call them and keep in touch with them, make sure they were safe and make sure they were doing well uh, mentally as well as physically. The chiefs made a schedule so that we were on rotation so we weren't interacting with too many people at once. We always have the PPE we need and the support that we need from our attendings and our faculty to make sure that we're giving the best care possible while still protecting ourselves. They developed an entirely virtual conference schedule where we still had didactics three hours a day. So we were very connected and the education, I felt like if anything, it, it increased during the pandemic. The hospital realizes that we have a lot of responsibility and so they really work hard to make sure that we get good social interaction among each other. We have multiple retreats throughout the year. We are kind of spoiled here at Nemours. They, they really treat us well. They make sure that we have time at home to have a good work-life balance. When we have downtime, sometimes we'll go to the healing garden, which is beautiful. We get free lunch every day. We have a great lounge, kind of like our safe haven. It's a great place to just be with the other residents, but then also to bounce ideas off of each other and things like that. I'm proud that we can offer an experience to them that we can tailor to what they're hoping to get out of residency. If you're interested in general pediatrics, you have those opportunities for outpatient experience with the continuity clinic. If you're interested in hospital medicine or specialties, you get exposed to those so early on and they're always readily accessible to you. During my third year, I said, you know what, is it okay if I take uh, half of my continuity clinics and I rotate through the GI access clinic. So that was just a phenomenal experience and it really helped me to decide, you know, where my passions lie. I think we're looking for residents that want to come here and jump right in and get their feet wet from day one and really uh, embrace what it is to be an intern and a resident at a pediatric children's hospital. We want people who are enthusiastic learners. We want residents who are going to go home from a hard day's work and read about their patients so they uh, will be even better the next day and be better able to take care of their patients the next day bring what it is that makes them the entire person that they are. We really feel that, you know, we want to bring people from different walks of life with different experiences here. I'm a first generation student and so going to college and going to medical school, I'm the first one in my family to be able to do all those things. And with all of my experiences going through medical school, rotating here as a student, I treat this place as if it's my second home. I love every single second that I spend here as a resident because not only is every second an opportunity to learn, but it's also an opportunity to put myself in the patient's shoes. That is at the heart of it. I just recently graduated and I, I just was struck with the feeling of Oh my gosh, I am in the company of some really, really talented physicians and I just felt really lucky in that moment to have gone through residency with them. I'm very fortunate that the residents, many of our residents, choose to stay here for fellowship and even if they go away for fellowship, many of them come back here afterwards to be uh, attending physicians on our faculty. You might leave the program and go on to your next adventure, but really you are always here in our family and we're so amazed and proud at all the things that our residents go on to accomplish.
If I had to do this all over again, I would do the same exact thing that I did. I would want to be here for my pediatric residency. I'm so happy being here. The most honest piece of advice that I can give to anybody applying to pediatrics in general is you gotta, you gotta trust your gut and you have to go to the program that's gonna fit you the best. And I hope that's us. I really do. I can tell you that Nemours was the right fit for me.